hello everybody welcome to chemistry concept and today we'll be discussing about the carbon family in the p block elements so first we'll discuss what are the carbon family so in carbon family we have in the silicon or uh, carbon silicon germanium methane and lead these are the carbon family so first we'll tell about the reactivity and the reactivity is in the order of lead is the most reactive so this is the reactivity order so we have in g e so this is the reactivity and this is going to increase here and then this is the metallic character same trend is going to follow like this and the acidic character of oxide CO2 is more acidic as compared to SiO2 and then GeO2 and then SnO2 and then lead oxide and these are the yeah, these are the amphoteric and these are weak acid and further we will talk about the allotropes of carbon so there are so many allotropes of carbon recently also we having new papers and research in carbon and so first uh, here we'll basic is the important things we'll talk so first is the diamond which having a tetrahedral three dimensional structure and 3D tetrahedral structure and in diamond all carbon is sp3 hybridized and linked to four other neighboring carbon atoms held to at the corner of the regular tetrahedron by covalent bond in diamond the cc distance is, is 1.54 angstrom and the bond angle is ideal 109.5 degree this is the ideal tetrahedral bond angle we know that this is 109.5 degree and due to the strong covalent bond diano diamond is strongest substance and having the melting point around 36 hundred degree celsius and it looks extremely inert chemically inert and it have a very high refractive index of 2.5 and due to unavailability of mobile electron it is a not conductor of electricity so this is the diamond now we'll move to this graphite second we having graphite unlike diamond it has 2d dimensional layered structure so in graphite we we having the layered structure and we having this hexagonal kind of units like this this is packed in layered form so suppose this is one layer this is another layer so these are intact with some distances that is that distances between this uh, layer and this is 3.4 angstrom and the cc bond length here is 1.42 angstrom the adjacent layers of the seats are held together these seats are held together by van der waal forces weak van der waal forces and the carbon is sp2 hybridized here and the fourth electron present in the unhybridized p orbital of each electron each carbon atom <coughs> of a hexagonal unit then overlap with each other to form a pi bond so we'll be having pi bonds in this graphite sheet suppose this is the t 3d in 2d if we are going to make it so what will be the structure this is the 3d and this is the 2d so we'll have like this 
and we have double bonds too so we can like all are in conjugator so this is the uh, 2d sheet and this is the 2d sheet of graphite so it is known as graphene it is highly conductor and it is zero band gap metallic semi metallic superconductor and moving to further uh, uh, allotropes of carbon we having fullerene it was discovered in 1996 and this is so many fullerene this is c60 fullerene c40 fullerene c20 fullerene there are so many fullerenes have been discovered after 1960 1996 so c60 was discovered in 1996 by this smelly and robert keller who won the nobel prize in 1996 and c70 is also known and the, st the structure of c60 is like uh, you know this uh, bulk mr fullerene it is also known as bulk mr fullerene it is looking like a this totally football only we have a hexagon and this pentagon in this and in amorphous we having uh, all this we uh, saw that already that is the crystalline and the in amorphous that is allotrope or the coal so it is the natural form it is artificially and also made by artificially and it is found in different form like lignite bituminous anthracite maximum percent of carbon is there in the anthracite so anthracite is a big uh, good quality of coal and the, it is very nice so these are the allotropes of carbon now moving ahead we will see the thermal stability and the volatility of the uh, hydrides so thermal stability and the volatility methane is the highly stable uh, so as we are going to down the stability is going to decrease for tin and for lead this is the order of thermal stability and volatility of halide and moving further we will see the reducing nature of halides so as we are going down the group down the group in carbon family to reducing power increases and we will having a uh, ch4 will be less reducing as and as compared to silicon germanium tin and lead and the thermal stability volatility of tetrahydrate tetrahalides will be having like mf4 mcl4 mbf4 and mi4 Th this is for thermal stability and volatility volatility so m is the halide sorry here m is the any metal you can take it with another center atom so reducing character of dihalides is like this gcl2 sncl2 pbcl2 reducing character so these are the properties of carbon families if you having any doubt please put in comment box thank you for watching videos don't forget to subscribe us